Today on the Grandland Video Blog, Adventure Comics. The Mighty. Secret Six. And Terror Titans. Hey everyone, welcome to the Grandland Video Blog for books that came out on February 4th, 2009. As always, I'm Craig, your host. This is the fourth of four very large installments. We got a lot of books to talk about. We've already talked about some Marvel stuff, two installments of Marvel stuff, and some great indie books, including Scott Pilgrim Volume 5. Very excited for that. You can see that on part three there. Uh, if you haven't watched any of those, you can watch them all probably where you're watching this one Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're checking it out. This is our DC installment, and we're going to start with the $1 Adventure Comics number zero Omens and Origins. Our Origins and Omens startup story by Jeff Johns. Very exciting, only a dollar. This book is masquerading as a Legion of Superheroes story, and it's not. Adventure Comics Zero has a Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes story reprint. So if you've ever read the first, you know, the old reprint story to which this cover is an homage, you don't need this. Although the, the backup story here has to do with a certain Black Lantern. That's all I'm saying about it. I know there's a lot of spoilers involved. For only a dollar, the Black Lantern story is probably worth it, plus the reprint. But, again, there's nothing here about the Legion that is going to, you know, move it forward for all those people that are wondering what's going to happen to the Legion now that the book has been discontinued and you're in Legion of Three Worlds and all these different things. Um, it's a fun dollar book but definitely not absolutely necessary. So if you got a dollar laying around, not, not bad. Definitely worth checking out. <clears throat> Next up, The Mighty. Peter Tomasi and Keith Champagne have accomplished exactly what they set out to do, which is tell a very interesting story with a brand new twist on the superhero idea. There's exactly one superhero in this world that they're setting this story in. And the story is about the people around him, how they interact, how they work for this company that is formed around him, this commercialization. It's sort of Superman-ish, but with a new twist on it. It does kind of have that Watchmen-esque deconstruction vibe, just not as dark and not as gritty yet, but fascinating. And it's an ongoing series, according to all this stuff, so I'm very excited for that. This is a very good book. I know DC has a really spotty track record right now of uh, launching books and missoliciting, you know, and, and kind of leading you to believe that something is, you know, going to go in a certain direction and it's not going to pay off. This book, well worth the price of admission. Definitely what they set out to do with it. Kudos to Tomasi and Champagne for really paying off on a very, very intriguing story. It would be very interesting to see where this goes from here. Next up, Secret Six, number six. Gail Simone, what did you do? What is going on in this book? I am, did I frighten you, Froze? <laughs> He's not responding now. I don't know what, what happened to make this book go this direction. You know, we are brainwashed to believe that number six is the end of the first trade paperback. This is not how the first trade paperback will end. Uh, there is a twist here that just totally throws everything for a loop. It's a great issue, but to appreciate the twist, you have to read at least the first five of this series. You have to, you know, and, and knowing more about this team would probably help as well. But this book is still one of the best stories going today in the DC Universe. Fascinating to see what's going on with these people and how they act. You know, these depraved criminals. Thunderbolts, Dark Avengers, they got nothing on this book right here. If you're looking for bad guys on a team doing weird bad guy things and all those all the while trying to be good, this is your book. Definitely check it out. Last up, Terror Titans number five. With the exception of the two issues in the middle where we decided to take a side tour and kind of go into introducing Static and then dropping him off in the middle of nowhere, we're back to the story that was supposedly going on with Clock King. And much like DC stuff, it just, it's, it's really ringing hollow. It's just not there. You know, this was supposed to be the dark side club. Well, that's all irrelevant now. The final crisis is over. 
you know, what's going on? We don't know. Uh, these characters sort of exist and they're kind of going through angsty, terrible things. And supposedly this is leading up to a Teen Titans showdown. Let's hope it does. Because there's got to be some sort of payoff to this series. And right now, there's not a payoff. If it's setting up for Teen, Teen Titans versus the Terror Titans, okay. Good, good on you, Sean McKeever. But right now, it's just Clock King and a bunch of weird young characters just doing these terrible things. And and it's it's what Secret Six, you know, wants to be Secret Six. It wants to be the Thunderbolts, but it wants to be the Teen Secret Six or the Teen Thunderbolts. And it's not. It's just, it's it's gone in too many different directions and it's just losing sight of where it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to be doing. The whole Dark Side Club tournament was supposed to be a big draw when this book started. And it's a first page reveal in this book. They're just kind of like, here you go, here's the winner of the Dark Side Club tournament. Now we still have two issues to fill, what do we do? I'm not quite sure that McKeever knows what he's doing here. It's just, there was so much potential here and there are so many good ideas, so many good directions. And it's like the book has tried to move in every direction at once. And it's, and it's not getting to any destination because it's just exploring all these different routes and just not getting there. So, unfortunately, not not that great that's it for this installment if you watched all four good on you I, i'm impressed i i can barely get through talking about all four of them <laughs> thanks for watching we'll see you next week